When we started getting cautious on, on units from Apple, it was driven by the exceptionally short uh, wait times you had for the phone, particularly for the 10R, where you know it's the first time for an iPhone launch, you could just go in the store on launch day and, and, and get one. Um, you know, so I, I think there's been some evidence before that. The uh, other uh, issue that, that raised some concerns was Apple's decision right. to stop disclosing unit sales uh, around the earnings report, which, you know, if, when companies stop disclosing things, there's, there's almost there's usually a reason for it. And, and what we think happened with this supplier, and there was, there was actually two suppliers which, uh, you know, downticked, uh, you know, since the Apple report. What we think happened is Apple often reports their own earnings and then you know releases information to suppliers after that so we don't think this is incremental to apple's own earnings report but we do think the suppliers you know found out about some of this after apple reported but their there's earnings. the two things there seems to be some confusion about the the actual suppliers themselves because they supply uh, the face id technology the face id technology is no longer just on the phones but also uh, on, on ipads by the way, there's some speculation in the future that this technology will ultimately uh, find its way onto laptops, MacBooks. That's right. But, you know, in terms of volume, iPhone is, is by far the, the largest volume uh, that you have. So, you know, I, the, in, in terms of what's driving, you know, the December quarter, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really all about iPhone. And, and, and you're convinced that if they had, well, let me, I don't know, if they hadn't stopped disclosing uh, sales, iPhone sales, you don't think it would have taken the dive it took yesterday? Well, I mean, you know, I think what, what, what's happening here is that you're, you're seeing iPhone units either now or, you know, sh or, you know shortly in the future, you know, going to start to decline on a year-in-year -year basis. Um, you know, whether at what point that's disclosed is, uh, you know, it's probably relevant for the stock in the very short term. But for the long term, uh, you know, I think just the stock has to reflect the fact that, that units will decline. Now, now Apple's point, and, you know, one of the reasons why they said that they stopped disclosing units is because they're still growing iPhone revenue despite the fact that, that units, you know, so far have been flat for the last couple of years. And they feel that's a demonstration that because of the higher prices, they can still grow revenue. Uh, you know, m my concern is going forward. Now the prices are higher. Uh, if units don't grow, how, how do you get growth? And of course, as units decline, then at some point, perhaps revenue starts to decline. Okay. So, um, final question: what's, what's your price target on the stock? We have a market perform rating, so there's no price target uh, with a market perform rating. So, $193 fair price. I I think it can go lower. And again, my concern is not necessarily just what's happening right now it's it's really kind of what's happening going forward and one of the concerns i have is you know neither myself nor uh you know others have you know so far uncovered you know any kind of rumor or speculation about very compelling features for next year's phone uh and you know if 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 this year's phone is selling even if it's just okay they have to come up with something particularly with these high price points to get people to buy a phone next year right. and unfortunately i don't i don't see that at the moment Okay. Chris Queso, Raymond James Analyst. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.